What's going on? Sid here with another video. Um, Minecraft. Yeah. Couple stone generators. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Um, yeah, so this is a video on a cobblestone generator. Um, this is my cobblestone generator's design that I figured out myself. So yeah, let's get started. Press the button to force the block update with a piece of redstone back here that, and that will make it uh, start up. This is semi-automatic, so um, once it's done with a full line, it will stop. See? And then to start it again, you either press the button or break this block. And this is very tileable, so uh, we can make a two-line generator. <laughs> a three-line generator, which uses a uh, the button behind the waterfall hmm. still lagging and the four line generator okay, I did not experience that when I was not recording but yeah you see how it uh, did you notice how it had one more cobblestone on each end instead of in the middle? Uh, that was something that I thought I got rid of, but apparently I did not. But yes, um, I know some of you are probably wondering if this is, like, how tallable is it? Um, that really depends on how far you're willing to go. Uh, for me, I had... Uh, I started having a lag with a 8 line generator so you probably don't want to do that and uh, yeah that's over there that's for another video that's uh, stone generators and yeah let's I will show you how to make a single line generator and then a uh, two line generator alright so Dig a hole like this. Put your blocks down. Put a torch in a hole. Put a block. Jerry, stop! Put a block down over the torch, put your uh, piston down, and then a sticky piston facing the other way, and then a block there. And now we're going to build the power source, or the secondary power source, and uh, break that to see if it works. Yes. Now then, uh, you Place block there, 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 break that out, not bad. And then, uh, we're pretty much good to go, except for one major flaw. Um, well, one major thing that you should do before placing down your lot. Put down your water, make sure it goes in the hole, and a uh, big hole. If you don't put down the water first, and you have this all set up, uh, the lava will destroy your torch. Put down the lava, and there you go. Um, if you want to put the button there, put a block right there. Put a 
button there, and then uh, put your redstone down. And there you go. There's your one line cobblestone generator. Now let's uh, add on the second line. So, yeah. Pretty much you mimic exactly what you had uh, had done before. Slag is just freaking getting on my nerves. Uh, one thing to note is that the redstone here, uh, if you're working in previous versions like 1.4.7, that needs to be a redstone repeater. I am on the one of the newer snapshots, so I don't need a repeater. And uh, see the lava there. All right, good. Place your torch down, and almost. Damn it! No, save the torch. <laughs> Forgot about the water. Yeah, at this point you're going to have to move the water. Um, one over. And then you break the <laughs> break that cobble and your torch will be perfectly safe. Alright, uh so let's see how Alright, I guess I could show you how to extend it into a 3-line. So, right here, you pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much just tiling the whole, uh, the whole thing. Actually, I don't think we need that. You just break your thing there, so that powers that. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that you don't need uh, extra torches right there. For if you're doing a two line, you can just do that, and then you can do the same here. Uh, let's see. Lock here, here, and here, and then lava should go here. Yeah. And to force the uh, update, we actually need to change this. Uh, don't break out that lock because <laughs> the water will uh, turn that into obsidian. Put a block here. And then under that, have your redstone. Um, repeaters facing uh, each way. If you have a, a four line generator or bigger, uh, for three line, just put one down facing the other way. And then place your update redstone there. Break some. Don't touch that. Put your button there and turn it on. Yeah. Uh, still seeing kind of that little lag that I don't like. Um, I, I might try to fix that. But. Essentially, for the fourth line, you pretty much just make uh, a two two lines by uh, like next to each other, and then uh, pretty easy to figure out. Well, actually, you just extend this into a two line, hook up the water, actually move the water into the middle of the uh, the area, and then you just break it to where. Uh, the water is flowing into all the holes, all the deep holes. And yeah, um, that's it.
I have tested the uh, the two line cobblestone generator and the one line cobblestone generator on the uh, server, the uh, elemental animation server. It does not lag. It's so great. It's uh, especially with my uh, diamond pickaxe with the efficiency and unbreaking uh, efficiency five. It doesn't doesn't even lag with that, and I have. I'm breaking both lines constantly building up uh, cobblestone. I have uh, four devil chests of cobblestone. I've only been on the server about a week or so, maybe a week and a half. Now that's not very much cobble for someone who has a cobblestone generator uh, in that amount of time. But yeah, I haven't been doing much with that. So yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope it didn't ramble on very long. Uh, I know I do that a bit too much. Yeah, hopefully if you found this helpful. If you have any problems, you know, just post a comment or send me a message. Uh, if you want to work on a redstone contraption together, just uh, send me a message. See you next video.